like I said, he just made some 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 tough layups. But you know, that's what great players do. What a finish by the Boston Celtics against the Washington Wizards. The Celtics were without Jalen Brown tonight, and Jason Tatum stepped up big time for his team, taking on the majority of the scoring load. At the half, the Celtics were up by five with Tatum at 16 points. Down the stretch, it became a fight to the finish as both teams were back and forth. But again, it was Tatum to the rescue as he locked in during crunch time to lead the Celtics to a 111 to 110 victory, dropping 31 points and making smart basketball plays. I know you've been playing basketball, you know, your whole life. I think it's just a feel for the game. It's just something that you can feel, you know, use your instincts, being reactive. Um, just, um, 22, I've been playing basketball since I was three, so a lot of practice in that sense. You know, we just had to get a basket. We just had to get a basket, and JT made sure we got a basket. Like I said, he just made some, some, some tough layups. But you know, that's what great players do. That was a really smart play to take the two by Tatum with 19 seconds left. He did a great job on the cut to lose Beal, and he could have shot it, um, but to take the two, and then it was just great basketball to trap and not foul. Um, in that situation, sometimes when you're coming out of a timeout, that's easy to talk about, but that was just a smart play. And, now Jason Tatum and Bradley Beal are very close and Tatum said post game that it was good to see him and mentioned that he's extremely excited that they'll both be starting in the All-Star game next weekend. He also mentioned he's hopeful that they'll be on the same team because that would be something special for the both of them to share together. Closing out for Celtics.com, I'm Amanda Flugrad.